This is by far going to be the biggest, best unboxing this channel has ever seen. £650 on a load of equipment and golf bags that I've never even laid eyes on. It's going to make a good video though at least. The ball doesn't know that you've got a 2018 driving iron compared to a 2020 driving iron. Guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a brand new video. Simon here, going to go and pick up £650 worth of golf equipment. Jamie, watch the channel, go in contact, get a few quotes at the start of the year for all this equipment in his shed, basically by other sellers and buyers of second-hand golf club equipment. He said, would I be interested? I said, Jamie, just let me know what your highest one is. I'll pay you whichever way you want to be paid and I'll come and collect it myself, which is exactly what I'm about to go and do now. But he's all boxed it up because obviously he was expecting it to be posted or delivered somewhere. So I'm just going to pick it up, get it home, show Mary the contents and the amount of stuff. It's going to take up a good portion of the flat, I think, especially the golf bags. And then let's have a rummage through, see what we got for £650. As I say, trusting Jamie, no reason not to trust Jamie. But it'd be good just to have a look through some other stuff. And also it gives me content, second-hand clubs, what prices that you can get this stuff for. You guys can obviously see if there's anything that you like. So you can go and find your own particular version of whatever that would be. And then maybe we're going to do some testing of everything else. Tier 4 in the UK, you can still play golf. Get on the golf courses, driving ranges, which is still very good. So whilst that is still going on, hopefully still going to be the case for the foreseeable, I want to get out and do as much content, golf content, as I can. Right, let's go and find Jamie's house. Let's go and find these golf boxes, squeeze it all in the car, and then um, yeah, get home and show the wife. That'd be even more interesting. And equipment has been acquired. Thank you to Jamie and his wife, very lovely couple. Thank you again, contact, and obviously giving me the opportunity to buy this stuff off you before you were selling it to other people and um, other businesses. Two Callaway cart bags, waterproof bags in there. I've actually got a lot of Callaway waterproof bags, Twixen Tour bags. These are the ones that are taking up the most space. The difficulty with golf bags in general, not many people, there's not a massive market for second-hand golf bags, as well as the postage as well. It does cost a lot, depending on what courier you use. Hermes, I normally recommend, as they're the cheapest when it comes to a large parcel. And to be honest, in the UK, Hermes is pretty much the only one that will take a bag or box of this size, unless you're looking at 25, 30 pounds, which again, pointless when it comes to the value. Got a load of free grips that Jamie just chucked in as well. So thank you again, Jamie, for that because I'll definitely be able to use those at a later date or for re-gripping certain clubs, especially ones that are definitely worn. And then the more exciting box, or let's say more exciting bit of this equipment box is four bags in here, which is very exciting. We've got a golf bitter one, and then obviously tightless one at the back there. Another box, another box. Putters, wedges, irons, again, condition, everything else, I'm not too sure, but we'll obviously get to see that when we get home. But again, thank you, Jamie, and your wife for obviously getting in contact and giving me the opportunity to buy all this stuff. Let's get home and let's get this all unboxed. Here comes Daddy. Two waterproof golf bags. Handy on a day like today. <laughs> a box, <laughs> whoa. This is the last of the golf bags, however. But five golf bags, we're going to be very pleased to <laughs> see. Drop off number three. Makes even pause biscuit eating. More cardboard. Loads of cardboard. Right, that's it. Oh, they're falling out. <laughs> right, let's get them unboxed. This is the haul. What do you think about that? Is that exciting? No. Was it? Oh, it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, let's go through the golf bags first and then get into the golf clubs. These are obviously the harder ones to sell just because of the size of them. Obviously, I don't want to have these in the flat for too long. So trying to, to be in the flat too long. So making sure that we can obviously get rid of these um, uh, the quicker the better. Then that obviously frees up some space. Lovely Strixen cart bag at the end there. Two dry, well, they're not dry joys because that's obviously um, foot joy, but... Weather waterproof, weatherproof bags, Callaway there, and then again another Callaway bag. These are normally quite expensive, brand new, these are about 180, 160 pounds. If I can get back, I don't know, 50, 60 pounds on each of these bags, then obviously I'm doing quite well, just because once you take out the fees, postage, and everything else, and that adds just allows us to get a bit more profit on the rest of the clubs that we've got to have a look at as well. Oh, nice, aqua dry. Now obviously I did look through the list, but you can never tell quite 
what each one is, but I have seen these obviously before. I think I've sold these in pro shops before. Stand bag there, all the zips look in really good shape. I'll have to go through each bag. But again, Jamie didn't mention that any of the zips weren't working. Um, so overall, I mean, brand new, if you look in that corner there, when these would have first come out, that's about 800 pounds worth of golf bags. Tour bag, probably about 200 pounds each, 150. 180 for each of the Callaway Dry Joy bags. I keep saying Dry Joy. Waterproof um, or weatherproof bags there. And I believe this is brand new. Never actually come out the wrapper as well. That's what Jamie said in one of his, in the message that he sent me. A Wilson staff bag there in the wrapper. Pretty much brand new. So again, if you're looking just for something light in the winter, just obviously hold all your stuff. That's kind of ideal. I mean, obviously, brand doesn't really make get make much difference. They all kind of come out of the same factory wherever they get made. But Wilson staff stand bag. So overall, again, if I can get 300 pounds for the lot of those there, that's half the total of what I paid for everything. And then the golf clubs make up the difference. Okay, so let's go through all the boxes. I'll try and make this as quick and efficient as possible, just so you can get a general idea of what I've got. As I say, with the bags, really happy with everything that was in there. So the golf clubs in terms of the list, if we can get break the 300 pounds and the rest of it will obviously just be profit from there on out. Ping G20 12 degree driver. I believe this is light flex. Oh no, regular flex. I think it's been cut down though as I believe this would have been Jamie's um, wife's driver. So again, that's something that I have to enter in, into the description. But for a really forgiving driver, just all in all, ping drivers just shot through the roof in terms of value this year. But for the moment, still, any club with a grip and head on it, especially as golf's in the UK is the only thing realistically that you can do, makes a big difference. I've been getting quite a few of these now. And I think this is pretty much close to the one that I had on the channel. I did a video a couple of weeks ago, Strixon driving iron. Great little club to obviously have in the top and in the back. If you are a fast swinging player, driving iron, you name it. And then I have a full set, I believe, of these tailor-made burner 2.0s. Again, with graphite shafts. I think these are cut down to lady standard length. Yes, I have the full set. So I believe this regular flex driving iron would have been at the top end of the bag and then the rest of the bag with these tailor-made burner 2.0. So I have five to pitch and wedge in those. Condition of them is actually incredible. They, they've looked after these clubs so well, especially with the head covers. So overall, again, with a set like that, you're looking at like 150 pounds, 160 pounds, depending on what they're currently going for. So the set really happy with, and again, driver hybrid, it's actually a really good like beginner set or potentially someone that hasn't got necessarily a massive amount of club SP, but obviously wants that forgiveness and distance element behind. So overall, the condition of all these clubs at the moment is really good, which is a great sign for the rest of the boxes. Moving on to the next box, and there's a lot of tightless head covers in here. So I believe this is all 910 or 915 equipment. 910 hybrid there, very nice. Typically, these tightless hybrids are going between 40 to 50 pounds, depending on their condition and everything else. Nice custom head cover sock to go with that one. So again, depending on condition, and if you're looking at 910, 913, 915, realistically 917, the technology is pretty much all the same when it comes to those tightless. That's why I think they kind of mix it up in terms of the marketing, at least when it came to the TS series. So if you're looking for a cheap budgeted hybrid just to fill the bag, I always say it, 910 hybrid for like 40, 50 pounds, is a real good deal just obviously mix into the bag just to tie you over between the let's say longest iron in your bag and then the driver as well 9 15 9.5 degree driver i actually sold one of these the other day for 90 pounds i think in a slightly worse condition than this one is as well so again i'll be looking for about 90 to 95 pounds any driver with a decent shaft head head cover is between 80 to 100 pounds at the moment and again, you're getting all the kind of adjustability, ball speed, forgiveness, as the majority of the other ones out there in the market. This is a D3, so it's the slightly smaller head, more of like the tall preferred, let's say. Gives you that lower ball flight, less spin. You need more control, so. Jamie obviously knew how to hit a golf, or still does know how to hit a golf ball. Not too sure what is in his bag at the moment, but that is the less forgiving kind, I should say. Oh, and lastly, a three wood as well to finish off, and again, 915 at three wood there as well 60 to 70 pounds somewhere around that ballpark figure once you add in postage and everything else so top end of the bag is pretty much full set of tightless woods from the driver three woods and the hybrids overall 
I'll probably be going to be looking to get like two, three hundred pounds, something like that, for the entire set. Adding the three hundred pounds again for um, uh, his wife's set as well, the bags, and we've still got a couple of boxes to go. And what is in here? Oh yes, okay, I remember these now in the email or message that Jamie sent me. Tour, didn't realise there's a difference, never seen the tour, I don't think that make a massive amount of difference actual to performance. I have to read up on that before I sell it. But White Heart, number seven, tour putter, any Odyssey putter, again if you're looking for forgiveness, not necessarily looking to try and break the bank, Odyssey two balls, let's go down a storm, again they're at a kind of a premium, mainly because everyone thinks of Odyssey when they're looking for more of a budgeted putter, but that's because they are good value for money, there's no question about that. White Hot Ice number seven as well there. There she is, White Ice number seven at the other side of the box. So I've actually got two Fang Putters. Personally, I've always been a big fan of Fang Putters, something that I've personally always gone towards. And a Grey Zone G7, or oh, is this the Never Compromise? For whatever reason, these don't particularly sell that well. Not necessarily a massive known brand when it comes to putters, never compromised putters, but they do make some really good ones. I have seen some in the past, maybe a bit newer than this, that just go for next to nothing, but they look absolutely fantastic. But again, another putter, 30, 40 pounds, if I'm lucky. Got a good grip on it, decent head size. It's gonna do everything. At least it's gonna teach you how to putt with it. If you've just started this game and you're looking for a putter, you're going to get more for your money because the name and the brand isn't necessarily there. The last box here. And as I say, this is all from uh, the highest quote that Jamie got. I don't know if I'd actually got all the photos, seen the condition, what my quote actually would have come, would have come out to, but it does seem like it's quite good value, whatever quote that Jamie did get in the time of setting these all up. Wedges for me is kind of like a staple. I sell so many wedges. It's like guys, people out there just constantly tinkering with their wedges, trying to get different wedges, whatever it might be, filling that gap. Yardage is obviously the more important side of it. And we have got a lot of wedges in the bottom end here, as well as some irons as well. A beautiful set of Srixen irons. Combo set, seven four fives and nine four fives. Again, I feel like Jamie knows what he was doing when he was building his bag. If you think from that 915 down to his hybrids and then these woods and then again, a bit more control. Combo sets are always a good option. I highly rate the top end of the bag. You want that forgiveness. So the six and the five in here with the seven four fives gives that bit more of a muscle back feel. Again, you're not gonna necessarily look down at like a massive cavity back iron when they're the longer clubs, but the pitching wedge, the nine, the eight, there again, the 945. So again, more of a blade, give you that touch around the shorter shots, especially the par threes. All with multi-compound grips. Grips actually in really good condition as well. So that's a lovely little set of streaks and irons and they always seem to get left out of the conversation when it comes to decent Japanese forged metal clubs. Mizuno clubs in the similar condition it would always be like 100 pounds, 120 pounds more on the second hand market mainly because of the name and the marketing side of it. Exactly the same as like a Callaway or Taylor May driver would be against a Ben Ross club, for example, or Ben Ross Woods, even though shafts are the same, head designs are the same, potential ball speed off the face, I'm gonna say it's exactly the same. But overall, lovely little set after these are cleaned up. Again, nice looking set of irons to have to the collection. And then lastly, just a few wedges at the bottom end. As I say, wedges, I seem to just sell tons of. You kind of just clean them up, mark them up. If your name is Jamie, these ones will go down very well as Jamie's got his name on the back of them. So if you're a Jamie out there, these wedges could be for you. And a beautiful, what a club to finish on as well. Beautiful Apex driving iron at the bottom end of the bag there. There we go, Apex Utility Driving Iron 18 degree. I believe this is quite an older model. I haven't really researched in terms of what year this actually came out. I've seen a lot more of the recent ones, but when it comes to driving irons, they all kind of do the same thing. Just a different title packaging, bit of marketing behind it. As I say, once you've got the weight as far as forward as you can to the face, as much metal that you can allow behind the head and the degree set with the shaft in it. The ball doesn't know that you've got a 2018 driving iron compared to a 2020 driving iron. 
all it knows is the speed that it's getting hit at, the launch angle, the spin, and then that ball is then produced into the yardage or whatever distance you're going to hit it. So what a club to finish up on. Let me just give you a quick roundup around the living room as there are now clubs everywhere of exactly what we got. Finish up this video. As I say, Jamie, thank you ever so much for giving me the opportunity to buy these clubs off you rather than you send them elsewhere. Again, if you guys have similar quotes um, uh, and you want someone just to come and collect them from you, pay you cash, bank transfer, whatever's easiest for you, then obviously send me a message. Starting out the flat, we have golf bags below. A lot of them, as I say, these need to go relatively quickly as I can't have these in the flat all day, every day. Putters down the bottom here. This is in one of the boxes. We've got some Odyssey white ice putters, number sevens, those lovely sets of Strix and Irons down the bottom here as well. They have a lovely look to them in terms of what they'll be able to do for you. Tightless wood set, driver, three wood, loads of rescues there. Very in condition, but overall in good shape. So obviously they'll be able to perform. Wedge set with Jamie's name on them. If, you, if you're Jamie out there, have a look at a few wedges at the bottom end of your bag. And then to finish off with, which I believe would have been Jamie's wife's. Sorry, I didn't get your name, by the way. Jamie's wife's clubs at the back here. Again, believe that she could definitely hit it looking at the setup, especially with that driving iron in the top end of her bag. Hybrid G20 driver, very popular this year. And then the irons with the head covers in fantastic condition. And then a few head covers as well as grips as well that Jamie threw in for me, which is a very kind gesture. So guys, there we have it. Thank you ever so much for watching this video. As I say, leave it a like if you liked it. Comment down below what you think of all the golf clubs that we've got. Subscribe if you're new. Catch you guys later.